Hello everyone, Jessica Payne here and welcome to Jessica Payne Live. Hope all is well, happy week to you. Uh, today I'm gonna to talk about IGTV, Instagram's new video flash broadcasting feature. So, uh, but first and foremost, thanks for watching. It looks like we've got RJ, Teresa and uh, Steven. How are you guys? Quick question to you, have you tried IGTV? I know the answer to some of that. And what do you think so far? That's the topic for today. Uh, just housekeeping rules if you're catching me for the first time. Thank you, thank you. Um, and, you know, if you're listening to me over on the podcast, thank you. Please subscribe. If you're watching me on YouTube, subscribe there too. I just realized I'm on Wi Fi, so we'll just see what this connection's like. Uh, normally I'm patched through a solid Ethernet, but it looks like I'm doing all right. You guys, let me know if I break up a little or you can't hear me. Otherwise, I'm just going to plow through. What's going on, Aaron? How you doing, RJ? Aaron, have you tried IGTV, Instagram's new? A video. Ooh, RJ. RJ is saying, yes, I have. I've tried it with an audiogram. Great results. You know what that means, RJ? I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, tell everyone what an audiogram is, uh, if you don't mind me, uh, and then I'll put your comments on up. So basically, for those of you guys watching, um, and you, you might even be watching the highlight reel after this on Instagram, a quick recap. What is IGTV? It launched about, I would say, maybe a week ago to everybody. We'd heard rumors about it. Um, it's everyone is sort of contemplating that it's it's Instagram's way of continuing to try to keep people on the app. Uh, Facebook Live, uh, YouTube has the ability to go live now. Has been taking a, a I don't know if the word is taking, but it has really um, gone gangbusters. It sounds like Instagram Stories, the first sort of more widely used feature um, offering for Instagram. Um, was pretty much the dominant feature there. And so it sounds like Instagram is just trying to find ways to capture more of the video eyeballs, the people who like to actually consume longer content. Because if you used uh, Instagram, the only opportunity we really had was to post a video and that had to be short or post a, a story and those were only a few seconds long. So long form video really wasn't seen a lot on Instagram because kind of, it wasn't really possible. Um, so long form video in the form of lives or videos was really just isolated to maybe YouTube and Facebook. So I'm excited uh, to see what Instagram is gonna do. Ooh, Aaron is saying, you haven't yet, but it was a hot topic yesterday on my Monday morning show. Aaron, what do you mind sharing what some of the what some of the interest was? Uh, we can talk about it uh, here. So IGTV, I've tried it. Not extensively. I've been mostly studying it over the last uh, week. You know, as a strategist, like my first inclination is just to go do and try everything. But I've been trying to be a little bit more disciplined about that. I wanted to sort of sit out this first week and see what people are doing and kind of studying it. So I have a list of kind of observations I've made. But first and foremost, I'd love to highlight anything that that has been tried out. The only video I've uploaded is just about it. It really was a story video. It's sort of a Zen breathe moment. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what my channel is going to be. And I think that if you haven't tried IGTV yet, if you first sign up to Instagram, if you're not on it, if you're on Instagram, update the app, if you don't see it yet. And what you'll see in the top right hand corner of your screen is sort of an orange sort of TV icon. You click on that and basically you go in and it kind of looks like a, a hash between, um, Snapchat if you've ever been on it, suggesting their stories and kind of like Facebook stories, how they suggest them YouTube. So you go in there and you can either upload a video or you can actually watch videos that are suggested to you based on your followers, what's trending or what you haven't finished yet. It's pretty cool. It's all on your mobile device. You can't do this through your desktop. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Instagram, you can do that. Okay, RJ, thanks so much. You're defining what an audiogram is because this is a learning channel, right? RJ says audiogram, taking an audio file from my podcast, which I love, uh, and putting an image behind it and overlaying a transcription over the top. I've been using headliner for this. Oh, cool. That's actually really smart. So here's a great idea. If you're a little hesitant how you might use Instagram uh, IGTV, you're like, I don't have videos. Why don't you take a page out of RJ's book? If you have a podcast, and you use tools like Anchor, for example, or even uh, repurpose.io, you can actually create a quote unquote video that just has those lines and you're basically listening or reading the audio transcript of a podcast. So you kind of technically have a video. 
RJ, what's the response been so far? I'm curious. Right now, because the feature is so new, it's kind of the fun part of any sort of app. People are just trying to see what sticks and what resonates. And that's sort of my second talking point, that the, our, our instinct is just to, to use IGTV as just another place to just plop all of our existing video. And what we're seeing, I was just reading a piece online, is the numbers don't necessarily back that up. You wanna remember that Instagram is a completely different animal than YouTube. Um, there's also gonna be a lot of scrutiny in terms of the types of videos that are welcome there, the tone, the taste. I, I know right now that people don't want Instagram to turn into Facebook. So long form political videos are probably not gonna live on there very long. Um, people go to Instagram to escape, right? Or to interact with their consumer brands. The reason why Instagram is, is still popular is because it's not other social media channels. So if you're thinking of using it just as a place to just dump all your existing video, I'm gonna tell you, don't waste your time doing that. What I'm seeing su succeed are videos that are still part of your brand, still part of your story, but think about them as sort of deep dives, real deep dives, cas casual deep dives, if you will, in certain areas. Um, that are different from your YouTube videos, that are different from your Facebook Lives. There's one main reason why I haven't really jumped into IGTV yet. I'm still kind of playing around with what I want my channel to be, and that's totally fine. Um, you'd rather have it be qu uh, quality over quantity, for sure. We're seeing influencers are getting a lot more views than big brands on IGTV. What does that mean? Well, they're not looking for polished uh, commercial-like videos. They're looking for what they expect on Instagram, which right now what we know is if you have a new, um, if you have a relatively new or a smaller Instagram account, you can post up to five minutes of video. And I know for some of the bigger brands, you can post up to an hour long. And the rumor has it that soon we will all have the feature to post up to an hour long video on, on Instagram. Think about it, that's crazy. Yeah. And if you're a little nervous about YouTube, because YouTube is like totally public, Instagram is too, but you can kind of hide behind hashtags or your followers. One piece of advice I'm giving you, if you haven't really embraced just video or longer video and you're a little nervous or intimidated on YouTube, why not try it out on Instagram in front of your followers? That's kind of what I'm doing a little bit in terms of understanding what my followers might want, but I'm seeing a lot of like creators, niche creators, specialists do this. They're playing on Instagram, they're looking at the numbers, they're looking at the types of editorial content they wanna create, and then they're gonna start to kind of use that to see what might work on other channels. So that's that's what a lot of um, creators are doing now, so why, why don't we follow uh, that lead? Oh, Gail's saying 10 minutes, great, okay, awesome. I had five minutes last week, I haven't updated the app, but maybe I have 10. Gail, that's great, so you're saying up to 10 minutes of video. Awesome, maybe they're already starting to unlock that. RJ, you're saying had re uh, really nice reach and engagement on the post. What I love about RJ is that she's a tester, she tries things, like I wouldn't have thought, audiogram, but technically if you can upload a video, it'll upload to Instagram. So what do you have in video format? Maybe you've stitched together a really good um, handful of stories that make for a great video. That could be a first one to maybe upload. Gail's saying, I hear it's 10. Okay, great. I read it's five, but I'm glad it's 10. I'll take 10 any, any day. Brigetti, how's it going? Brigetti down in South Africa. Brigetti, I'm curious if you might be, um, what you might think about in terms of IGTV for um, for what you cover. You guys, Brigetti, if you don't know, she's been covering the, um, the water crisis down in uh, South Africa. So I think IGTV is, I've heard it called it kind of a, um, a mini documentary channel. I can see a lot of people, you know, it's sort of like Discovery Light. I can see the videos that are like GoPro, behind the scenes, environmental, documentary, um, creative do really, really well on IGTV because those tend to be um, videos. People go on uh, Instagram to follow content, but also creators I find be, to be, not YouTube doesn't do that, but IGTV um, and Instagram as well. So getting a behind the scenes look at something that we might not see, I could see that taking off. But Brigetti, I'm curious if you're thinking about it in terms of what's going on in Cape Town and, and, and the water crisis. What else, you guys? We're talking about IGTV, Instagram's new video feature. 
in terms of what I've seen work, there's definitely celebrities. The way they rolled it out was pretty cool. Um, you know, PR had on, they had a whole PR push and then immediately it, it looked like they had already partnered with influencers, people already in, on Instagram who are already using video to roll it out. We had um, people doing beauty demos. We had, you know, folks like Gary Vaynerchuk uh, out there um, sort of showing long form video. Uh, some of it was sort of repurposed already what we see on the channel. But again, I think uh, Instagram knows that, you know, you need to have the right people there when you launch a product. It was kind of like a premiere. So to see the big names there supporting it and encouraging us was great. But then obviously it was nice to see that we immediately, like the average Joe and Jane, had features we could use. Nothing irks me more than to hear about a feature and then have to wait four to six months. I think apps are getting smart about letting everyone have an opportunity uh, to use it out front. RJ, can we talk about vertical video and some ideas how to make that work? I've been shooting in horizontal for so long. Yes, I'm so glad you brought that up. So here's the big separator for IGTV and what the, um, what the CEO is and the developers are sort of hanging their hat on. This is gonna be where they say vertical video shines. So vertical video, basically they're, they're making a case for the fact that um, the trend is gonna be for video now, which we typically watch in this format, right? To dominate and start to be vertical. Why? Because everyone or most people have a smartphone and most people know to shoot it vertically. And IGTV is saying, this is where vertical video is gonna shine. And so if you're like RJ, if you're like myself, I'm shooting on a webcam right now. And so what we're gonna see is probably some apps come out that specialize in shooting vertical video. I haven't seen any yet, but I've been researching that. I think one of the biggest um, things preventing people from just dumping their existing video on IGTV is the fact that it's not shot on vertical, so it looks bad. It looks terrible. I've seen stretched videos, um, even from big brands too. So another reason why you should shoot on vertical. I think they're also trying to encourage people to actually shoot video content on their phones, which I like because it's gonna be their way of keeping it real, keeping it authentic, um, and a little bit of a playing ground, I think, so not everything's so polished. Um, but it's a bummer because I like shooting on my webcam. Um, there's higher definition there, but most smartphones have amazing cameras. So RJ, the first thing is, um, if you've been shooting in horizontal for so long, you're going to want to start to shoot vertical, which the only way I can advise you to do that is if you have a, like I have a little, a mini tripod. I don't have it in here. I have a mini tripod for my phone and I've tried it out and it literally clips on, this is so boring. It literally clips on my monitor. So I'm literally shooting on my phone on my monitor, but it, the, you know, my background's somewhat similar and I'm comfortable. I would say that, or dare I say it, a selfie stick, get something that allows you to shoot on your phone vertically as hands-free as you can. That's probably the best thing I, I can recommend. It's gonna be interesting to see if someone can master a webcam that shoots vertical. Otherwise, you're probably gonna to have to be stuck editing it, uh, which I think the whole point of IGTV is like not, not to do that. Now, here's my biggest question. Who has an hour of video available on their phone? I don't. Like, how are people gonna be able to shoot an hour of video? I think that boggles my mind. Like I may, I have like two minutes maybe of space on my phone, like before that notification pops up and I run out of room. So that's a question. If anyone knows how to figure that out, let me know. Um, otherwise I think we're going to have to figure out a way to shoot on, uh, you know, and it, you're just going to have to like fix, dare I say it, fix it in post. RJ, when you say you've been, you don't yet. Okay. You don't yet. Yeah, me too. Get, get little, you know, the beautiful thing about, you know, the internet is you can find anything online. I've been looking at like more mini tripods or like selfie sticks. It's going to look obnoxious. But I think again, at the end of the day, I think Instagram really wants people shooting from their phones and from the hip. They want it to be authentic and deep. I think the only thing that's going to be a barrier is it's like we're, we can only shoot as long as the, the, the space on our phones. My hope is that they will introduce a live function that allows you to go live and immediately save to Instagram without having to save it to your phone. I feel like we're there, but it's still clunky. Gail's like, I totally got a mini tripod. I do, me too. Totally, totally. And a light, beautiful. Me too. I have, um, what kind of light do you have, Gail? 
Let's talk about gear for a minute because that might be the first challenge for people. This is my friend. Boop. I'm not going to blind you guys. It's just a little ring light. I actually have it up here. Some days I look more shinier than others. Today's I'm sh today I'm shiny. It's so dark out, which for a Californian to say is a big deal. It, I think it might rain today or it's just that June, July gloom. So I have like one light, but the light is weird in here. It's amazing when the, when it's not regular California sun out, the, the light, look at me, the light could be crazy. I'm so shiny today, love it. Gear talk, oh my God, RJ, you're here for it. So a couple more minutes. So just so you guys know, at 8.30, I am gonna actually jump over to Instagram and do a highlight reel. Um, I can, if you guys are interested, I'm, I, I can talk you through how I'm kind of coming up with content ideas too, but um, I'm still a little hesitant yet to, to post a lot to IGTV. I have a feeling I'm gonna do it this week, but I wanna give it a little bit more thought. I'm pretty sure I know what I wanna talk about, but you know, again, I'm actually trying to be as patient as possible with this because I want it to be different from YouTube, which is essentially more of this type of content. I want it to be different from my highlight reel in my lives, you know, so I'm filling it out. Gear talk. Okay, everyone in the comments, tell me your favorite piece of gear. And maybe talk about if it has anything to do with your smartphone. So for me, real quick, um, these uh, ring lights and a lav mic, which I have. I don't know if you see. Boop, inspired by Stephen Healy. Um, work great. Get a pair of earbuds. Okay, newbies, get a pair of earbuds and a solid mic. You can go to CVS and get a pair. I went to CVS yesterday because my cat chews through, through them maybe every two weeks. They're between 8 and $20. Get a set of earbuds with a mic earbuds with a mic that plugs into your phone. Then you can hear and be and, and be heard. Um, my favorite brand is Philips, but there are many others. Philips, um, I have found, really kills that um, background noise. People have actually commented how great my mic is on calls. So that's my jam. Do what you want to do. For lives like this, where you don't necessarily have to hear, I use a lav mic so that my voice comes loud and clear. I use the same mic when I'm shooting videos for my course live show mastery, which is more um, fixed camera and the, the audio quality is bang on, it's great. And then I use a light when needed for my face and a tripod sometimes, All right? That's me. Aaron Strayer, earbuds, for sure. I mean, you gotta do earbuds. No speakers, please. RJ, list off some of your faves. I know you have gear. RJ has the best mic and the best radio voice, I have to say. IGTV. Aaron, what are you thinking about uh, Instagram TV? Have you seen anything you like? I'm curious, you you interact with a lot of uh, cool people. Your show's going gangbusters. Have you thought about what you might do on IGTV? I love it because here's the thing, you guys. We're on Facebook right now. Facebook Live is, is going great, but Facebook, like I tell my, my students and my clients, is not the only social media channel. So I've been sort of staring at Instagram, waiting for them to increase, like to improve their features. They really need to improve their live, live to save, uh, live to archive. And I think they're getting there. And then there needs to be some sort of platform that allows people to do a little bit more in terms of that live to save feature on Instagram. Not that I want to do more of this on Instagram, but I am very conscious that a lot of my audience never comes on Facebook. They just don't. It's not their first channel to use. A lot of people are actually avoiding the channel right now. Fair enough. So anything that brings my interest to Instagram gives me more opportunities as a creator to create more content, dive deeper, which is the same strategy I use here on Facebook. I'm pretty excited. I'm very happy. Any improvements to Instagram are great. And people are wondering if Snapchat's going to be around, uh, around for a minute. Instagram, I think, is going to continue to excel because it's reaching a larger, a larger demographic every single day. Certainly, a younger demographic. Um, again, those are the people that just they—they're not on Facebook, um, but they are running businesses. They're buying from brands. They're donating. They're enrolling. They're subscribing. You know, they're following celebrities. So I'm pretty stoked. Aaron, I'm not an IG girl, but serious talk yesterday on my show with how it's integrating and options available IGTV. I have, I have faith in you, Aaron. I mean, you're great on camera. You've got great content. You know, use the same strategy I'm doing. No pressure, no rush. Just like what feels good for you because I know how busy you are and I know that you 
you're you don't make any decisions lightly you're measured you take into account so just kind of if you want to join me and just sit with it and study it for a while and i think for me i'm not going to move forward until i'm 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 pretty sure about what kind of content i want so maybe just watch for a while study it i think you know every time an, an app rolls out there's going to be a 2.0 version there's probably going to be a lot of people with, having bug issues or the dev team is probably trying to rush out a few sort of follow-up features or improvements. So in the next month or so, I think IGTV is probably going to get even better. So why rush? Gail, so you can upload to IGTV from your computer, and you can totally native record in the correct aspect ratio to upload pretty. Gail, tell us the easiest way to do that, if you wouldn't mind. For example, the, the record part, just so we can get back to RJ, um, you can totally native record in the correct aspect ratio. And is that, you know, just so RJ knows, is that specific to what you're recording on? Like, what if you record on QuickTime? Can you, you know, for the, uh, for the audience, can you inform us? If you record on something as, as simple as QuickTime on a webcam, can you tweak the aspect ratio and how? I'm totally bogarting like your talking points, but I'm hoping that um, it could be a teachable moment. Let us know. I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but I haven't really tried it yet. Uh, Aaron, yep, studying and watching, totally, totally. Will you be adding IGTV uh, to your source in the future, to my course in the future? Yes, it's already in. We've already talked about going beyond Facebook. It's in one of the early toolkits. If, if you're in my course, you know this. If you haven't enrolled yet, it is. Um, I start you off on Facebook Live as a place to start, and then the course, we're talking about Live Show Mastery, which is my course. It's all about using live video but I talk about stories, I talk about other channels, and I talk about real-time content, which I would say includes IGTV. Yeah, it's one of more of the advanced, but we do cover it, RJ, we do. If you guys have questions about Live Show Mastery, by the way, I will put it in the comments, or you can just refresh, go to my Facebook page, just hit refresh, and you'll see a video at the top and a sign up button, that's where you can find out more information. But yeah, I mean, Instagram is part of the marketing mix. I mean, I see it as a central focus. Facebook's not the only channel. You know, um, we talk about Twitter, we talk about YouTube too. But uh, Instagram, I find to be people are a little bit more comfortable using Instagram as maybe the next point after Facebook than jumping over to YouTube or Twitter. So it's kind of a nice next step. And now I think, like I said at the top, it's like if you're a little nervous about posting video in general, maybe on maybe you don't have a YouTube channel yet, but maybe you already have an Instagram, why not try uh, IGTV just to try it out? Doesn't have all the bells and whistles of YouTube, but I think IGTV is gonna really be a game changer. Because quite frankly, like some people don't wanna go on YouTube. The discussion section and the comment section of YouTube is not a fun place. Especially if you're a woman, you get a lot of flack. I mean, I've seen some comments on Instagram too, but like, I'm nervous every day about going on YouTube because, and I'm not saying YouTube's a bad place, it's just, you gotta be ready, it's a different environment. Aaron has plenty of smiley faces. Gail is saying, I think yes. So guys, what have we learned about Gail? She knows a lot, so <laughs> DM her, ask her uh if you don't mind us gail uh but we've learned that you actually can record in the uh in the aspect ratio oh my gosh speaking of live show mastery we've got barbara van manen barbara is one of my newest students uh barbara is awesome uh she is in the barbara you're in the financial space right life um life insurance life planning hello every important every person needs to know <laughs> Uh, a little bit more about that subject matter. Barbara, you're, you're a total newbie, but you're a veteran at the same time. You're right on time, as I always like to say. We're talking about IGTV. Because you came in late, as soon as this, uh, if you've never seen one of my lives, this will save, and then you can watch this whole thing over again. And if you're on Instagram, you can actually join me for the highlights. So don't worry, if you're just sitting down, you can watch this whole thing again. Everyone say hi to Barbara, will you, for a second? Make her feel welcome. Barbara, you are in good company. You've got some pretty amazing, uh, warriors on here, goddesses, you've got Gail, you've got RJ, you've got Aaron, um, all masters of their own domains. And oh my gosh, is it just, it's all women today? We rule. Uh, hey, we were just talking about gear. We were just talking about, you know, what you need when you shoot on video. Gail is schooling us on how you can actually shoot vertically, which Barbara, you will um, eventually shooting vertically like this on a phone versus like this. 
I've been watching them for weeks. Love you all. Oh my gosh, fandom. Let's have a Queer Eye fandom moment. Yes. Are you guys obsessed with Queer Eye? I am. It's coming into my lexicon the way I carry myself. I'm in love with that show. So I'm going to be saying that more. Barbara saying howdy. Yes, this is a place where everyone feels welcome. Barbara, we've got creators in here. We've got marketers. We've got um, we've got a bot expert, RJ. She's the queen. Um, beautiful engineer mind and the kindest soul on the planet. Also funny. That should be a band name. Hashtag also funny. Um, Gail, my computer isn't keeping up with my brain. Preach. Preach. So I'm going to wrap it up because, guys, as promised, I'm going to jump over on Instagram. But it, we talked about a couple of things to recap. Try Instagram if you haven't already. Uh, uh, sign into the app uh, and update the app. And uh, IGTV, Instagram's new video feature, which allows you to upload anywhere to Gail saying up to 10 minutes of video, which is a game changer for Instagram because you've only been able to upload like seconds at a time. This is a new feature open to everybody. Uh, if you have a more popular or a bigger uh, channel, you might even have the ability to upload an hour's worth of video on Instagram right now, whether you record it on your phone, or as Gail is saying, you can actually upload a video recorded um, vertically on your webcam. Try it out. It's that orange looking TV icon at the top. When you open Instagram, you'll see it. You can't miss it. They're, they're promoting the heck out of it. Um, and if you're like me, if you're like Aaron, you don't need to post maybe right away. Just study, observe it, see what's working for other people. And if you're nervous about YouTube, maybe consider posting video as part of your marketing, as part of your brand, as part of whatever you're promoting on Instagram. Um, last night I was just on it, just watching content. I learned so much just by watching. They have, just to recap, the biggest features are when you sign in, you can upload video if you want, or you can um, watch the suggested videos, the same popular feature as YouTube. So they'll suggest based on who you follow. They'll actually highlight videos you haven't finished yet, which is great because how many of you guys get distracted or walk away? And I hate trying to come back and find it on YouTube. So they'll they'll show you which ones they suggest you follow based on your followers and who you follow. Watch. They'll um, they'll uh, highlight videos you haven't finished yet, and then they'll also just highlight popular or trending videos served right up for you. You just tap on it. So great. And that's awesome. And it's not just big brands they're they're suggesting. Like I'm seeing my fellow creators. I'm sh I'm you know I'm seeing actual authentic channels. So I love that. It's like you don't just have to be popular for your videos to bubble up right now. And I think because it's so new, it's anybody's game. So those are kind of the mm, if I have to wrap it up in a bow. Those are the kind of tips that I do. And the last one is if you're already recording video, explore in your own gear how you might be able to record longer video vertically. That just might take a little bit more finesse and research on your end. Tech official help page. Oh my gosh, speak of the devil. Guys, give Gail a, uh, a shout out. I love it. You're keeping me honest. You're providing links. This is what this show's all about. Like if everyone walks away from here and spends a minute on Instagram today exploring and those creative juices are flowing, I've done my job. But now Gail's keeping us honest, actually showing us how to do it. Loving the drag and drop option. Yes, exactly. I think every app and every feature should have a drag and drop, don't you feel? I also love picture in picture, which is just part of video consumption in general. The fact that I can uh, consume video and still do stuff on my phone. Oh my God, it's like the best. Because who does one thing at a time now? Nobody. Awesome, guys. Before I leave, as always, I'm going to shoot my Instagram profile in the comments. In case you want to join me there right now, if anything, hey, a lot of this will be just, I'm going to do a quick highlight reel every day at 8.30 a.m. Pacific, which is like now. I jump over right over to my Instagram channel, which I've just linked to in the comments. Uh, and I'm going to do a quick highlight reel of the show. But if this gives you guys an excuse just to jump over to Instagram, do it. I mean, what you're doing right now. We got a quick meow from Lady the Cat. I was waiting for her to do a drive-by. It wouldn't be a live stream if she didn't do a drive-by. Last week was hilarious. She was running around my place. Any other questions, you guys? Otherwise, I'm going to jump over to Instagram. Thanks for joining me. Barbara, jump over if you haven't had a chance. Gail, Aaron, RJ, much love to you guys. Steven was on here earlier. Ladies right there with the tail. It's been real. I hope to see you guys and all of your beautiful content on, on Instagram, if not here. But for those of you guys watching, thanks again. If you're watching on the replay, you can catch me here 
on Facebook or wherever you found me every week. Facebook, I am live, 8 a.m. Pacific. Uh, I'm here in Los Angeles. And then right after at 8.30, I do the highlight reel on Insta. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Any other questions after this? If your juices are flowing, you have a question or comment, just shoot them and I will, uh, and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you on Instagram now. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Actually, you won't see me next week. I'll be traveling, but you won't see me on Tuesday. So I'm going to try to go a little later in the week, but no matter what, I will be uh, live streaming. Cool beans. Thanks, guys. Thanks for making it a great uh, discussion. Oh, man, Gail. She says, oh, my God, your Instagram is gorgeous. Thanks, Gail. We can talk about beautifying your Instagram feed next stream if you want. There's a lot of different strategies for Instagram. Or maybe we can talk about that now when I switch over to Instagram right now. Thanks, Gail. Have a happy fourth to you as well, Barbara, you guys. Thanks for making her feel so welcome. This is what this is all about. All right, guys, I will put a link to my course too. Otherwise, if you do have questions about Live Show Mastery, again, uh, you can just refresh my Facebook page. It's that video that plays at the top and then there's the blue sign up button. But I promise to get you more information about that. I think I just got a question on it. Loving the layout and the blocks. All right, jump over to Insta if uh, I think you're on it, Gail. So we can talk about that too if you want. I use a really cool tool to help me do that. All right, all right, you guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Just get paid live. See you next week.